Netflix has completed the shoot of yet another season of You. It all started in March of 2022 and the shoot wrapped up in August, so it might take a little while before we finally see Joe back on our screen. But don't you worry, it's coming and we have some news for you. Interestingly, there are quite a few changes happening. We'll get to see the special behind-the-scenes work of Penn Badgley, who plays Joe on the show. He has taken over responsibilities as the co-director. Sarah Gamble, the executive producer of You, was the one to break the news on her Instagram. She wrote in a post, We hired a new director this season, but he seems to know the show really, really well. Just a few days back, Sarah posted a picture of Penn on the first episode of the new season, working with the cameras and giving directions. So it seems like we're going to see a whole new side of Joe with the addition of Penn in the directing team. Sarah Gamble also talked to Variety about the fourth season, and it sure sounds interesting. According to her, Penn has played the character of a sociopath really well and they're all excited to see an even darker side of him in the fourth season. So, everyone is pretty pumped to see Joe Goldberg going international as the filming mainly took place in Paris. It will be interesting to see his new obsession and how his story takes a turn. Things might be a little bit different this season or at least that's what the creators are hinting at. Penn Badgley talked about the fourth season of You in an interview and said the tone is similar but it's shifting in that there is a different format. We're using a different format, it's almost like we're shifting the genre slightly and I think it works. Badgley also said during his podcast that he has hopes about Joe changing his personality. He said the problem is in him, not so much outside of him so he's trying to change, he's always trying, failing, trying so it seems like Joe Goldberg will be turning a new leaf in the fourth season. As for the plot of the new season they'll pick things up where they left off and Joe will try to get a fresh start. He'll obviously try to readjust and not fall into his old patterns but once he finds a new you his obsession is set to begin yet again. It's still pretty unclear whether Joe will be following Marianne, the girl he was obsessed with in the last season or if he will find someone new. It's most likely that he finds a new obsession but he did go to Paris for Marianne so things still seem pretty complicated. In addition we won't be seeing Victoria Pedretti playing love in season for because she was burned. But if the past has any indication, she might come back in Joe's nightmares and haunt him. Netflix also confirmed that Lucas Cage is going to be part of season four in their tweet. Well, as for now, Gage does seem like a character who would most likely be the next victim of Joe if he gets on his nerves. Sarah Gamble also talked about the insufferable characters on the show, saying, One of the questions we always ask on this show is, what pool of privileged douchebags do we want to throw Joe into next? And there are a lot of untapped pools around the world if you just leave the borders of the United States. When it comes to the plot, we're going to see something fresh and the fans are hoping to see some growth from Joe's side. He literally gave up his son to the neighbours before he came to Paris. So this would be an important factor in the next season for sure. Sarah talked about it and said, you can't pretend something that huge about a character didn't happen. I think it will shape him from this moment forward. And even his exact plan of when and if he would return for his son is something that we will come together and talk about for hours and hours. But the question is, does Joe have the tendency to change? Well, Penn Badgley believes that Joe isn't going to change so easily because he's traumatized and mentally ill and you can't expect him to heal just like that. The most obvious guess for the new season's plot is that Joe's going to end someone's life, but we already knew that, right? However, what actually makes it interesting is the thought that will Joe finally be punished in this season or would he just get away with things through his planning? The the executive producer of the show talked about it and said, We frequently end up spinning out just these theoretical conversations about what the most fitting one would be. Should we end his life? Oh no, that would be too easy. Should he be in jail? So it seems like the creators are still confused as to how they want to punish Joe, but the fans don't want the show to end anytime soon. One thing is pretty certain, that things aren't going to be that easy for Joe this time. He's practically not alive anymore in the eyes of the press, so he has to stay away from the limelight even in Paris. But he can't help hanging out with mainstream people, so that might be his undoing. In addition, Marianne knows about Joe's obsession now, and that's why she left the country. So if she sees him again, she might panic and do something stupid like Love did and it won't sit well with Joe. So things are a bit iffy when it comes to Marianne's role. You should also know that season four of You might not be the last season, as Netflix didn't announce it like they usually do. So it's possible that Joe gets away with everything in this season too. 
but he sure would be going through a lot emotionally because of what he's already gone through. Or it's possible that he regrets giving up his son and ends up going insane because that's very plausible. Plus, Joe is most likely to find a troubled child to rescue in the new season because that's what he's been doing for the past three seasons. When it comes to his personal life, he basically burned his house down with his wife inside of it and abandoned his child by the end of the third season, so he must be traumatized to a certain extent. As for love, she had it coming when she tried to attack Joe. Also, we might get to see the snippets from the traumatic childhood of Joe that turned him into the man that he is now. Gamble talked about it and said, We've been with Joe longer, so we know about his baggage, right? So I think there's a lot of that to explore. It's possible that one of the characters will dive into his past and Joe isn't gonna like it. He also left some characters alive in the last season, like Theo and Love's mother, so that might turn out wrong. So the plot is gonna be as interesting as ever with a whole new setting and lots of new characters. What we do know is that we'll be seeing a lot of new members in the cast. One of the new additions to the cast is Charlotte Ritchie, who'll be playing Kate, probably the new love interest of Joe. Netflix describes Kate as a wise gallery director who immediately hates Joe and is quite suspicious of him. On top of that, Amy Lee Hickman will be a great addition to the cast as her role of Nadia. She's introverted and kind of an outsider in her group, so she might relate to Joe. Another addition to the cast is Ed Spielers, the writer who graduated from Oxford and has a decent circle of friends, but everyone has a past. Apart from these new additions, the cast of View would have a lot of new members because the whole setting of the show is changed and we won't be seeing the characters of the past. The only character that we're certain about in season 4 is Joe Goldberg, played by Penn. Moreover, Gabrielle, playing Marianne on the show, talked to the rap about the future of her character, and she said, I don't think that Marianne would go back to Joe, like definitely not. Though I do think she would award him a conversation, she added. I really want Marianne to, like, expose Joe as well. I want that. History suggests that all the use of Joe didn't make it out alive, and Marianne might also face the same fate in the fourth season. But fans are also curious to see if Joe's luck finally runs out, and he faces the consequences of what he has done for years, but that seems very unlikely. As for the release date, things are pretty uncertain because the fourth season is currently in the post-production process and in an ideal world, we'll be able to binge watch you in about five to six months. However, Netflix hasn't released an official date of the release yet, but they have updated the description of you on Netflix with, it's official, another season is coming. Sarah has also talked about it on her Instagram and said that they don't have an official date of release for the fourth season, but she'll be the first person to announce it if they get the date. Besides, Netflix hasn't released an official trailer for the fourth season either, but they did come out with a short video compilation announcing the fourth season. You won't have to wait a lot for the trailer though. It's coming out pretty soon. Oh, it's exciting. Well, what do you think? Will Joe get punished in the next season or will we see his redemption arc? Tell us in the comment section below and thank you for watching.